If you've been to a nail salon, you would know that it's not cheap to do nails. It looks really basic, but it costs from $30 to $60 just to do nails and they don't last forever. So you have to go there about every two weeks, I want to say. So definitely it's a lot of money if you want to keep your nails looking pretty. Ever since the pandemic started, I stopped doing my nails. I stopped going to the nail salon and I start biting my nails because you know, when I feel anxious and nervous and everything that's been going on in the world. Now that I'm back to the office, I kind of feel I feel ashamed of my nails because they don't look the best and I feel like they're not presentable to other people. So I wanted to do my nails again but I don't want to go back to the nail salon yet and I just don't want to spend that much money on nail salons anymore. So I decided to try some of the nail kits from Amazon. So in today's video, I'm going to review some of the nail kits that I got from Amazon including the fake nails extensions, the nail glue, and also the gel kit um, including the UV light. I hope this video can be helpful to you. I'll put all of the products that I reviewed in the description box down below. All right, are you ready? Let's get into the video. If this whole thing works out, hopefully I will not have to go back to the nail salon to do nail. I got everything from Amazon except for this manicure file that I got from CBS and they're actually pretty affordable so I felt like if I can use it over and over again it's gonna be a great deal. So today we're gonna test this out. First of all, I got this fake nails from Amazon because definitely I need to cover my nails because I don't have much left. So I got this, I got this glue. And for the polish, I felt like for the better look and also the long lasting factor, I got the gel polish. I was gonna go to CVFs to get some gel polish brands that I know, but I don't know, I just bought it from Amazon. So first of all, I got this nail polish kit. It has 20 colors plus three. I felt like this one will be a great deal. I will put the link in the description box down below. Wow, guys. This looks amazing. Hopefully the colors are great. So I got 20 colors and I got three coats. So we have the base, the top, and the matte finish. So we got those. Felt like this is gonna be great. And of course, if we're gonna do gel, uh, we're gonna buy this UV light because, you know, you gotta use it to dry out your gel. I did hear from doctors that it could be problematic because UV lights are not great for you, but I felt like if you don't do it every single week for a long period of time, it should be okay. Um, actually, I've used this glue with fake nails before and it worked pretty well. So if it works, um, maybe it will benefit you as well. If it doesn't, we'll just avoid it for future times. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, let's look at this fake nail kit. Um, it has different sizes, 10 sizes in total from zero to nine. And I do like the fact that there is number on top. And this is actually the salon quality because it's not like the, you know, press on. You actually have to brush it and it has this type of things. This is actually different from the drugstore where you buy the fake nails and you just press on. This is actually salon quality and it's super long. And let's see if we could try out one. Basically, if I press it on, it would just be halfway on and I'll have to clip the rest. So that's how it's gonna look. Oh, so this is my size. I'm gonna put it on my thumb. I'm gonna put a little bit of this glue. Okay, first one, I think it works. I could have done a better job, but so far so good. Can I just say, it's not very easy to do this step by yourself, but it's on and that's pretty good. And then we're gonna cut the nails, which is also another thing that's not very easy because I kind of I think I ruined it. And then we're gonna use this file and try to shape. Oh, 
All right, guys. Now it's time for us to apply the gel. So basically, I wash my hands first, and then it says to work with cubicles and clip nails. Bluff nail surface. Hmm. I need to bluff. It's more thinking about a fall color, maybe '86. Okay, so we have this. We're gonna bluff the surface. So this side actually says buff. So we're supposed to buff it. The first thing we're gonna do is to put the base coat. So this should be clear. So first, let's apply the base coat. Okay, so we're gonna start first. Okay. okay. So let me show you something cool. So now the light is off, right? Look, it's on, and then it's off, and then it's on, and then it's off, and then it's on. So basically, this is automatic. You can actually set the timer as five seconds, thirty seconds, or sixty seconds. But let's say you said, "Oh, I'm ready. It's off." So I just need to put my thumb in there to make sure it's all good. Let's put the color coat. Thinking about this '84 in this this color. Thinking about it. Just thinking about it. Seems okay. Just put out one. So this seems to be a very nice nude natural color. I know my hands look so weird on camera. And let's put it in. Okay, and then I decided to give another coat. All right, the next one is the last step, which is the top coat. So just similarly, we're gonna put the top coat. On the very top, and of course, I didn't do a super good job brushing the nail polish, just as usual. But I felt like this is a really good kit if you are not as careless and clumsy as I am. It's definitely gonna work for you because I felt like this is a really good kit. It's very easy to use, and I felt like it does look like. The nail polish that we got from the salon. I think it worked out pretty good. I definitely could have done a better job doing it because I'm just not very good. I definitely use my file to file the side because I was putting too much on the side, but. I really like this color. I really think it's very soft and pastel, and I do think it's very easy. It's definitely one minute, and you're good to go. If you don't feel safe, you can do one and a half minute, but definitely, it's good. If you're like me, putting too much on the side, don't worry because afterwards, you could actually use the file. And also, I felt like because I'm trying to make sure everything is under this camera, I couldn't see the other side because my face is here. Because I don't want to put my face all the way to the other side of the camera. So I definitely felt like that's another factor that I need to give myself a break for. Because I felt like I could do a way better job if I'm just focusing particularly on the brushing part. But I think so far, so good. So you can just use the nail file to do the edges on both sides, make sure it's not like out of your nails and things like that. Pretty good, and I really like this color. So 
I do recommend this kit. And I think the color is very saturated. I did two coats, but I think with one coat, it's definitely good enough. So yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side and I'll see you later. Okay, so I have to say my right hand, I'm not so proud of it because I'm a right-handed person, so when I do my left hand, I can do a better job versus the other way. Hey guys, I'm back again. If you notice, I actually filmed the intro three weeks after I tried the nail salon kits for the first time. And I actually did my nails recently like this, look how pretty. And I got so much compliments over this, I'm ready to give you the final review. Overall, I felt like the gel kit the best. I felt like it's of really great value compared to getting them from the drugstore. I do think the Amazon kit is better value and it's of really great quality and I really like these. So I would rate it as 10 out of 10 because they look so good. Um, when it comes to the glue, I want to say it's not the best glue because I feel like maybe I didn't do it right but my nails do fall off after one week so my nails do stay for a week and then they start to fall off so i definitely felt like the glue is not the best one but it definitely works especially it has a brush and it's easier to apply when you have a brush instead of those ones you have to squeeze 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 so i do think the glue actually works but it's probably not the best glue compared to the nail salon. The next item I reviewed in the video is the UV light. And honestly, I have purchased the UV lights before from the drugstore and they actually didn't work for me because um, before the UV light that I, that I purchased from the drugstore, you have to put your fingers under the light for a long, long time for the gel to actually dry out. But this one, if it says 60 seconds, it is 60 seconds. It's so easy. It's just the salon quality and really like the feature that if you put your fingers in, it goes on. If you take them out, it goes off. So the UV light that I got from Amazon is exactly like the nail salon. They work like magic. So I definitely really, really recommend that one. If you're looking for UV light for your gel, get that one. Okay, lastly, it's the fake nails. It's exactly the same as the ones I got from Nail Salon. But I want to say, because I don't have the clipper that the Nail Salons has, it's a little bit hard to actually clip it. So later, as I do my nails a second time, I actually get the different one that's like press on, that's like the whole nail is actually the fake nail instead of half fake nails, half real nails because when the glue doesn't work, it's kind of hard to put it back in versus this one, if it fell, I can actually put it back in. So instead of getting that one, I actually now use a different fake nail. That fake nail definitely works really well, but if you're not super experienced in how to clip it and process it, it's a lot of work in terms of the shaping thing. You might as well just buy the super short ones or the shaped ones that you can get from the other, like just press on and then you use the glue. So I definitely feel like that one would work, but just for the fit convenience factor, I actually start to using the other ones that cover the whole cubicle so these are actually the ones that I got after two weeks um, I got the new one and this is actually the real nail so I think uh, as I start to grow my nails back I'm gonna start doing it on my real nails so overall I feel like it's really great and I really like how it turned out I got so much compliment from work and overall I'm really happy about the purchase I felt like I saved a lot of money from going to the nail salon and I can still look pretty good when it type 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 all right that's it for today's video I hope this review can be helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what are your favorite color for nails and how do you do nails at home so we can learn from each other and save money. All right, that's it for today. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell ding, 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 so that you will not miss out future content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!